So, um, the way to record, obviously, is very simple. You just press R, and then when you finish recording, you stop um, by pressing spacebar, and then you want to play back, and you press space again. And we, we kind of know all of that. Like, we're, we're, we're there, at least, right? So, um, here I'm going to... Um, just going to uh, make sure that you highlight the track that you want to record on first and foremost. Um, sometimes I forget to do that and I'm like playing along and I'm like, well, why doesn't this actually work? And then I look and I go, oh, I haven't actually highlighted that track. So when you press R, you will hear a count in based on the count in that you have selected. I generally have one bar. So... And then obviously I can begin recording um, uh, and I'm good to go. If you ever want to change your counting, just go up to one, two, three, four here, which is your counting <laughs> and uh, right click and you can change it to whatever you want. So you can have no counting, you can have two bars, so on and so forth. Um, you know, two beats, one beat, whatever you want. Um, and actually this is a quick, another quick way to get to your recording ses settings that we looked at before as well. So that one there. So um, my counting usually remains at that. So when you're working in uh, Logic and you're recording, um, let's start with uh, let's start out with some drums today. Um, so when you're working, um, you might want to try a few different recording modes. Okay. Um, so I can go in and if I'm recording my drums, let's say, um, I can go in and I can just like lay my drums in and then stop and, you know, re-record and stop and re-record and stop. Because like generally speaking, like with my drums, I'm going to get the foundation in, which is a kick, uh, a snare or a clap or a rim or whatever you're looking for. And then some hi-hats. Now, if I'm in cycle mode, which is loop mode, um, I can obviously stop, start, or I can just keep it going. Um, and when I'm working with MIDI, particularly in, in the case of a software instrument, if I'm putting drums in, I might want to actually move to merge mode, okay? So instead of having to stop and start all the time, um, which is what I would not prefer to do in this situation um i want to be able to just go through um i'm just trying to think of how many bars i'm going to put together in my head here i'll put four bars in um i i can go in and uh, i can um lay in my kick pattern then stop then come back round and lay in my snare pattern and then stop and then come back round and lay in my um, hi-hat pattern. Although, like for a lot of people, they would just prefer to do it all in one pass, essentially. And, you know, I again, I don't know how well this is going to go. Um, but um, I can go to that um, menu we were in um, by going to, uh, go to file uh, to get there quickly go to file project settings and um recording or like we showed you or like i showed you just now you can right click here and you can go to recording settings or you can go right click here and you can go to recording settings i'm actually going to go to recording preferences sorry um so that was sorry that was the original menu that i went to preferences and recording or just right click on your um, record button and go to recording preferences you can get to either one from their settings or preferences so uh, that's a nice quick way to get there instead of having to go all the way up there so here you can see when I have overlapping recordings yeah um, in MIDI mode as in when you're working with MIDI um, you can choose a, a few different options uh, you can choose to do what I'm doing, which is merge, or you can choose to overlap, or you can choose to overlap or merge selected regions. You can create a new track, or you can create something called a track alternative. Probably a bit too much to go through 
in this session today. Um, or you can do what we usually do with audio tracks, which is create a take folder. And if you have ever worked with audio before, um, you would know that we can do things like comping and stuff like that. So by default, my uh, MIDI is set to in both cycle on and cycle off mode. So whether I'm playing in loop or not, um, it's set to merge, which means I won't have five different regions when I'm entering, you know, my drums. I'll just have one region with all of my drums on there. Now, this is sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing, just depending on how you work with drums. Some people like to have different regions and then they just split them out. Um, I actually just record them all in one to get the idea down quickly. That's my way of working. Just get your idea in quickly and then you can do all of the stuff afterwards um, that you need to do. My um, default on uh, on uh, audio uh, whether i'm in cycle mode or not is to create a take folder um, which allows me to do that comping and so on and so forth so i could go to create a take folder in midi as well a lot of people don't know that that exists um, but i choose to do merge which means that anytime i'm recording and i'm in either loop or not um, i can just play whatever I need to play and it merges with what's already there. Currently, I don't have anything there. But um, what I'm going to do is actually going to make this two bars because I'm just going to end up repeating the same pattern. Um, that's not the sound that I want. One second. Okay, so I've got this kick drum here, drum machine designer, you know, um, going through that, you know, you're able to do loads of cool stuff with Drum Machine Designer really quickly and easily get um, at, at the kind of sound that you want. I've just loaded one of the kits called Thick Heat um, just because, you know, it sounded good. Um, and I'm just going to jump into record mode. I'm basically going to record a four to the floor kick, which for anyone who doesn't know is the first, um, sorry, every beat of every bar, not the first beat of every bar, every beat of every bar. Um, Kind of like that. So my counting is on. I've got my uh, metronome or my click set to record. Um, sorry, set to click whilst I'm recording. Um, again, I right clicked on that and I can kind of take stuff away if I need to. So I'm going to turn that off for whilst it's playing back. So see no metronome there. And then um, it's still going to click whilst recording. I could choose to only click during the counting, but I'm going to... I'm going to need it and God to keep me in time, it seems. Um, so uh, here we go. Okay, so that's my kick um, recorded, right? Um, now, usually what I would do is I would stop and go in and... It's just completely the wrong sound. So I'm going to put the kit, uh, the snares on the twos and the fours. Now, remember, I'm working in merge mode here. And the cycle is on even though I stopped it. But I can just go in and you'll start to see on the screen that that information will appear. Okay, so you can see here in the region, you can see how badly timed this is all as well but um in the region here i'm just going to add nope not that note i'm trying to pull this thing out if it will yes thank you um i'm going to just add some quantization to all of the notes C command a q and then i'm just going to actually take the strength off so it kind of feels a bit more human 68 seems fine what i'm actually going to do with this pattern here as well is i'm just going to get rid of these so it's um more of a two-step kind of feel um and then obviously layer up my hi-hats you can hear those interesting sounds on this kit uh, uh to try and just keep it nice and straight here Okay, so I'm working with those. Need to just get in and quantize those. I can actually just, if you see what I do here, I just select those. And I can um, just work with the same quantize kind of uh, setting there. Uh, 
Okay, so that is like typically how I might do things. Although, what if I just got rid of that? Yep, I'm living life, you know, on the edge there. What if I got rid of that and... <laughs> that sample. I went like that first time round and then second time round. I might do that pattern for the hi-hats, just make it feel a bit, you know, more busy. And then second time around, when my loop comes round, I move over to my hi-hats. It's gonna work because I'm in merge mode, no matter whether where I am, like and whether I'm in cycle or not. So here we go. Okay, so you know, I missed I missed the first um, hi hat there, so. I'll just, whoa, copy that, select all, do a bit of quantization. You know, usually I'd sit here for like 20 minutes just finding the perfect groove, um, but you know, time doesn't really allow me to do that. Um, I basically have decided that I wanna add another kick in somewhere. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just play this back and I'm gonna just put a couple of kicks in. Actually, but let me put this one because that should be bang on, really. So let me put that one there, bang. That's bang on, so that should trigger now. And that, and that one as well. Um. Oh, no, I wasn't recording. Okay, so it's not the end of the world. Capture recording allows me to bring that kick back. So I was just pressed an extra kick there just before that kind of turn of the bar. Capture recording actually caught that kick and it's now there. So capture recording is there for you when you forgot to press record and or you were just jamming along and you were like, oh yeah, that's cool. Oh, I wish I was pressing record. Well, with MIDI information, um, you definitely, definitely can do that. So now that kick is in there, that extra little kick. Um, it was only just one kick or I felt like that was the correct place to put it. All right, cool. So I'm just going to go into Drum Machine Designer and just like quickly um, bring this hi-hat level down, um, which is in volume. Wow, that's a bit too much. Um, so I'm good there, right? Um, so now what I'm going to do is kind of like um, move over to my piano sound. Um, and figure out what I want to do here. So, um... So I'm probably going to do like something around that kind of area. Um, so let's see, I'm going to just like take a second to jam kind of like the groove that I want. Um, and then um, I'll go in and I'll record it. Um, if I was to just like jam and then go capture recording, unfortunately, it would probably pick up a lot of the a lot of the uh, stuff that I'd already previously done. So usually to be sure, to be sure, I just usually would start again. I believe that logic clears when you stop um, the playhead. So it's all based on the playhead. The playhead has to be running. So I couldn't just do what I just did and then do a capture record. That wouldn't work because logic doesn't know where to put the notes. Um, so let's just have a go. I mean, I'm going to just double check that with you guys. Yeah, so you see it's got a lot of information there because um, it was recording basically every single thing that I was doing when I was in cycle mode. If it was just like I went through it once and I was like, oh, that's the one, um, then it would um, it would work. 
hopefully. <laughs> um, so here, um, it's a simple case of just pressing record, like lining up and 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 kind of getting moving on on, on that part. Um, might just make it a little bit faster because you know. Okay, cool. So we'll go there. Um, uh, I don't know if I want to play it like bouncy or or not. I'll just lay them in like fairly um, fairly straight for now. Ah, yeah, yeah, you see, you see there, I got caught out by myself. Okay, so, um, I actually, this is a four bar phrase, um, which I need to turn into four bars. Um, so actually, let me just go back here and show you what I did. So I selected the region. Um, I press command R that repeats the region. And then what I'll do is I'll select both of these and then command U, which would put the loop around the region. Yeah. So, like, it's quite important that you get quick at moving around logic because you don't want to be spending time, like, doing too much dragging and dropping. So learning those few shortcuts should hopefully help. So now I'm back uh, to where I should be. Let's go again. Okay, so that's that, right? Um, and did I do, did I do what I wanted to do? I don't know that I necessarily did. Um, okay. So that first one doesn't trigger. So that's uh, just excellent. So, uh, what I'll do here is I'll put these all on, um, even though that's going to give me a chord, which doesn't sound like it's played by a human. Um, okay, so that would be, you know, that's fair enough and, and cool. Like, obviously, if I wanted to, let's say, like, for instance, like, I am I mean, I'm not the best piano player in the world, but let's say you're not the best piano player in the world as well. Um, if you wanted to uh, add, like, some melody on top of that, but you wanted to keep it on the same track, um, and I've, I've, got, I've got to think of a melody here, but... Um... Let's have a let's have a quick play. <laughs> okay, so I've got that little melody part towards the end there. It started out well. Okay, so I'm just going to lay in that melody part like and I don't need to worry because I'm in merge mode on MIDI. I can just record over it. Wow. OK, let's just undo that. <laughs> Command said. OK, so I'm going to leave that there. I made a mistake on that that um, note. I wanted to drop that down a half step, this one here. So I'm going to press Alt and my down arrow. Sorry, a, t uh, a step. Yeah, so that's it. So now I've got a piano plot, which I played in, in, in two separate takes. Um, but... Uh, which I and I should have a bit of melody on the end there as well, really. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight these two bars. So just to link that together. Uh, yes, I'm on the right track. And then I've got that little da 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 which I'm just going to double up here. So let me just do a bit of tidying, tidy that note. Um, and then this here, I'm going to just hold Alt, go to plus 12. And now I've got the melody on the piano. So... Uh, 
and that will obviously come back round. What I'm going to do is I'm going to join these two regions together, Command J, and I'm going to repeat these as well, Command R. So uh, let's hear how that sounds at the turnaround. Fine, I'm okay with that. I'm all right with it. Yeah.